and welcome back everyone, part two of episode four for The Walking Dead. Hopefully we're not too far behind. I checked the first part, hour and twenty minutes. I really should not be recording this now, but oh well. Good, we're at the same part we were last time. Saw us. Definitely. <laughs> what the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. What? How the fuck is this good? Before, everyone at Crawford was smart and they had guns. Now they're dumb and they don't. <laughs> hey, trying to look on the bright side here. Unless there's no supplies, then we're screwed. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on, I think I know which way to head. You think? I got a bad feeling about this. Then leave. I don't need you here anymore anyway. I'll leave him behind too. If X means bad. Just keep moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. Come on, beat a chapter. Damn. Like I said, I shouldn't be recording this. I should be rendering the other video first. Damn, hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, come on. Figures. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Battery. What about the medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? She was part of them, obviously. So then we just need a battery. This auto shop. It's right next door. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. Shucker. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Well, Stay Clementine. close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. But Clementine. Ooh, 
What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Damn. Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? Um. You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't like right this idea. You know this is what I get for bringing her, though. They're gonna get kidnapped. It's just in a minute now, they're gonna get kidnapped. I'm gonna come back. Ben dead, hopefully. Okay, I don't know where I'm going. I guess I'm going this way. Yep. The alleyway to the auto shop's down here. You coming or not? Yeah. Got shush though, damn. There are zombies, you know, around the place. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Molly, you out here? Where the hell did she go? She's part of them, isn't she? Guess I'm not going that way. Shot must be down this way. Yes, that is pretty clear. There she is. She's gonna knock me out, isn't she? I feel like she's going to. Herman's. This is the place I'm looking for. Joyful barbed wire. Well, climbing the fence isn't an option. Sure. So the only thing I can do. Damn. I don't know what the hell. Okay, I can't go that way. Back this way, maybe. Can't go back that way. Anything in here? Alright, checked. Oh, there we go. That's gonna break. Come on. Everything breaks on me. Oh, wow. And I made it without a scratch. That's a first. up there um. doesn't she knew him Molly <laughs> Molly what what the, hell? what the hell do you think you're doing it's dead already I think you can lay off don't tell me what to do you kill geeks your way I'll kill him mine Wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Nice. Oh, yeah. That'll work. 
Oh. We gotta hurry. Hurry. I raised up, you keep him back. Shit. Yep. Come on. Yep, Q, 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 Q. And he's still alive, really? All oh, right, she didn't go for the head, idiot. Should be able to know we're here still. Come on. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. All right. Well, I can see where the battery should be. But it's not. Perfect. I can't reach it up there. Do you think? Looks like it's the holes for the lift hydraulics. No power. Looks like Crawford had their own semi trucks. All right. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Huh. Well, let me think. What can I cut it with? Yo, bitch. Use your weapon for a second. Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. If I do, I'll kill you. Don't worry. This is gonna drop the car down, then we have to grab the battery and run, right? Why did I do that again? I oh. did it. Whoa, then, whoa, whoa! Yep. Shocker. That's probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. Yeah, if you want to call that going right. Still attached to the terminals. Well, then cut the damn thing. It's still attached to the I know, idiot. It's off. Got that one off. Grab it. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. And she's gonna leave me. Okay, follow me. Move your ass! <laughs> Great, now what? Skylight. They're already, they're already here, so. How do I get up there? Um, oh, all right, then. That worked. Figured something would go wrong there. Okay, so now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. <laughs> this is bold. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! I don't know, man. Ugh, I just clicked like crazy on that one.
Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you still got the battery? Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Bye. God damn it, what the hell is she doing? Dumb bitch. Little help! Little help here! You. Bam. Fuck! Doors won't close all the way! Lee, do something! <laughs> we got it! Brace the door with something! Hold it damn well better. There's so many of them. You got the fuel. Let's not start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans, they weigh a goddamn ton. <laughs> Something's gonna go wrong. Besides, the bitch would run off. You're back. Yeah. We made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Can't you kick it open? Did you get that battery yet? Yeah. Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She better be. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. You wouldn't no have. No problem. We're all on the same team. I'll be back. Got some things to do. Good luck. Talk to Clementine. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? <laughs> no homework. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? Yeah. It may take a while, but yeah. I do. Don't you? I hope so. That's good. You hold on to that hope. It's the one thing none of this can take away. I got bullshit. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? <laughs> to be fair, there's no, no way to carry the battery. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. No. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. No. Ben, no offense, but have you lost your motherfucking mind? <laughs> Kenny's barely hanging on. You tell him you're to blame? I don't even want to think about what he might do. I know. I've thought about that. But I don't know how much longer I can keep looking him in the eye. I feel like I'm lying to him by not telling I'm him. I'm telling you, man, it's a bad idea. Real. Real bad. Hey, maybe you're okay walking around with somebody's blood on your hands, but that's not who I am. I can't just pretend it never happened. Look, 
We need Kenny. We need him to hold his shit together if we're ever gonna get out of here. So you need to keep this to yourself, for the good of everyone. You hear me? I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Yeah, but he's gonna find. Figure, if you let him tell Kenny, he'll, Kenny will kick his ass and he'll be left behind anyway. I'm not sure what else there is to do. Oh yeah, I forgot about those. Shit. That explains a lot. Vernon must be trapped in there. Mm-mm. <laughs> What's up, guys? There you go. Come on, end of chapter. Damn it. They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe. Locked up tight. Naturally. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time. I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Really? Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Not working. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Looks like some kind of medical file. Anna Correa. I guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Hmm. Let's give it a shot. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. That you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. <laughs> I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna. You don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Hmm. Doctor with a gun. Always good. Damn it! We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search him, see what he's got on him. Oh, joyful. Let's 
So you go back to the alley, huh? I really don't like the camera sometimes. It gets annoying. I don't recall him being dead, though, either, so... Oh wait, unless it was the Yeah, it was the one that she killed actually. Come on. Oh crap. No. Stupid idea. Really? Come here. Come here. This is definitely the guy. Yeah. Search him. Go. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit. Shit. Time to go. Well, how do I get back? Eh, whatever. Camera really needs to be fixed. It's annoying as hell. Nope, 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 never mind. I was supposed to go the other way, son of a bitch. Much better. Here we go. Our loading screen. I and found another again. tape. This one's dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. <laughs> no. No. Importantly, we got the combination. She knew one of them? Krista, are you alright? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Uh -huh. Alright. 
get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You go on ahead. I want to make sure we didn't miss anything. I'll be right behind you. Don't take too long. Why can I watch these again? This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Uh, Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations. Alright, I'm back. Didn't want you guys to have to sit through that again. Pointless. Vernon and Krista already took everything we need. Must have been from when that woman stabbed the doctor. Uh, already cleaned out. All right. What is this? A copy machine. It matters with no power around here. Let's head out then. Don't see a reason to stay in here anymore. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah, uh, about that. You're fucking with me. I'm just kidding. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I would have killed her on the spot. Here you go. She swapped it with a battery that doesn't work. What's that? Nothing. Sure there's nothing you want to tell me? Yeah, I'm sure. Are we done? What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. That doesn't sound good. Oh, Jesus! Shit! Man. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Idiot. Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. <laughs> Shit! Moron. Damn, I like her. Lee! Shoot this fucker! I couldn't. Thanks. It wasn't me! Good going, kid. Nice shot. Thanks. Damn. Let's go. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. <laughs> Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean, this is all your fault? Henny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. <laughs> ben. Shut the fuck up! Fuck you, Lee! I can't do this anymore! Fine, don't. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? 
It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Yep. Kim, enough! Calm down, man! You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got them both fucking killed! Kimmy, I said calm the fuck down! Nice group you got here. <laughs> Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! I agree, I vote sadly. Leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? No. Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, <laughs> I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? Cut him loose. I'm sorry, Ben. I've got to do what's best for the group. And that means cutting you loose. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a second? <laughs> nope, you get eaten. She's dead. Free! Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on! There's gotta be a way out down here! <laughs> nope. Fuck! That's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Lee, look! Strangers. Good. <laughs> oh, nice. Hell yeah. Bitch, you get nothing on me. <laughs> It's all right, Cliff. I'm fine. Any way out of here? 
This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Oh, shit. Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go! Go! Yes, and uh, the railroad's chock full of zombies. Yeah, come on, let's go! <laughs> I didn't even want to. Hold on, Ben! I've got you! Ben, climb up! Come on, you can do it! He's not gonna want to. There's no time! You have to go! Now! Quit fucking around, Ben! Come on! Let go, damn it! Get <laughs> Clem and the others out of here! Okay. Lee. <laughs> Figures like, come on. You can do it. Drop him. Lee, we both know. Let me go. Let me go. See ya. So I let Ben go. I'm sorry, he's been he's just he's he's screwed over the group too many times. Really? He didn't die? Dude, if I knew I was gonna fall from there, I would go head first. I'd instantly been like, alright, I'm falling head first. Damn. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! He's dead. Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Huh. Hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Damn. Good. Feel like I could use some. Where's Ben? He didn't make it. Yes. What happened? I dropped Dumb him. Son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. Bullshit. That's what happened. Nice going, asshole. What's eating you? Yeah, I did what I had to. But I don't expect Clementine to understand that. Hell, I don't want her to understand it. You did the right thing. Trust me. She'll understand. No, she won't. I'm gonna go start work on the friend. boat. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. I don't want to talk. I really don't. Uh-uh. Listen, man. About what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. It was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? Yeah. That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we better just get used to it. Damn. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. With this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? 
I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. What you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. I wondering how far this is gonna go. Holy shit. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm so she didn't steal her battery. Not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me. Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. You be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. <laughs> Does he gotta talk to her now? Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Clem, you have to believe me. I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. He knew we were running out of time, and that saving him might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? <laughs> yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Well, she was right. Before we leave tomorrow, Will we have time to look for my parents? Sure. <laughs> <Look before. laughs> Why? Really? You'll take me to Crawford so we can look? <sighs> I knew you didn't really mean it.
Clementine. Oh. Clementine? She the radios. Okay, start talking to her. That's what I'm guessing. There we go. One chapter left, guys. Let's do it. Clementine? Clementine! Give me one second, I'll be right back. Alright, there we go. Oh, God. Oh. You bite me or just get close? Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fuck. <laughs> Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? I don't know what to do here. I don't even know if I can ask for your help. Lee, we're a team. That's how we've made it this far. We're not going to just abandon you. Even now? Especially now. You've earned that much. Damn straight. Cool. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Can to say something? I appreciate it. Really. Kenny? Lee, man. You know I care about Clementine. And I am a Christian man. And I keep asking myself. If this was me, asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. Kitty man, I'm begging you here. I can't do this alone. I need your help, please. You might not have been keeping score, Lee, but I have. And you've been looking out for yourself more often than your friends. Well, maybe that's a good thing. Because you're on your own on this one. Guess it's just me and you guys. We should go find Vernon. See if he took her. I'll get the boat out onto the river. Figure I can wait there until you get back. Or at least until nightfall. You're still gonna take me? Even Ben? Yeah. We'll figure out what to do He's about that when the time comes. He just completely switches attitude. It's like, fuck you, I'm not gonna help you find the girl that you've been looking Come out on, for. Guys, let's go. I'll still take you while you're bitten. Fucking two personality piece of shit.
What the hell achievement is that? I want to know, damn it. Oh, damn. Okay, clear those. So, that should be it. They're all gone. Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Guess we're leaving. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Really? No time left, episode 5. Holy shit. Let's see, you and 21% of players killed them. You and 72% of players were rational and honest. You and 79% of players brought her. You and 36% of players let him go. You and 81% of players showed the bite. Well, there you guys go. There is the let's play of episode 4. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh wow. So they had Ben with them. There's Oh and Kenny, just Ben, Ben and Kenny. All of them. Damn. It's mainly just been him and Kenny alone, that's odd. There you guys go. Thanks for watching. See you in episode five.